so the time cannot always be if you're if you're counting the time using your stopwatch you will see the stopwatch will give you a time like 20 20 point zero one seconds or 20 point two two seconds so the measurement of time uh, needs to be stored somewhere else we can't use the integer data type or this specific container we need to use something called float and double so there are differences between these two data types but both of them are responsible for storing decimal values inside the memory so this container called dec1 which is uh, you know in sh I have named it in short so uh, this is going to store the decimal uh, values so this is go this is going to go to the compiler this program and the compiler will look at the data type and it will see that we have uh, that there this container has a type data type of float so this float means that if you if you have stored 20.3 inside this container called DEC1 it will be stored just like uh, just as you have assigned to this container it, the compiler is not going to ignore the values or the digits after the decimal point it's also going to include the digits after the decimal point when it goes back to the memory and stores that value then what's the difference between float and double the very basic difference between float and double is that float can store four bytes of data while double can store eight bytes of data so you will use doubles like if you want to uh, if you want to include or if you want to store something like the national debt of USA so the national debt of USA mo is most probably like you know 16 trillion dollars so that's a huge number you can't just store uh, 16 trillion inside the float you have to have a bigger storage space a uh, bigger storage space which can handle that huge uh, amount of data which is 16 with trailing zeros if you want to store the entire value so uh, if you want to store something like that national debt or uh, like the amount of money that a bank has or maybe uh, you know big values like the distance from Pluto to our Sun or the distance uh, the light years that we have to travel to get to Pluto or the light years that humans will have to travel to get out of this solar system so that's a huge huge value it, it might go over billions like you know 10 billion light years or 20 billion light years so you need a storage space that can handle such a huge value so how do we find that or how do we do that we use double now light years just like the distance uh, light years are the uh, measurement uh, the unit that's used to me uh, measure the distance between planets galaxies or any sort of spatial objects or the Sun and the earth so if we want to include the entire value like uh, I don't know the exact uh, distance between Sun uh, and Pluto but let's just uh, guess so my guess would be something like 10 billion point uh, 10 point zero one billion light years away so the distance in is 10 point zero one billion so if you want to include uh, the entire value inside this container which is known as the DEC2 if you want to include it the entire value then you, you will have to write 10 uh, 1 with uh, I guess I'll have to go for 6 9 and 10 10 zeros so 1 uh, if, you, if you want to write the entire value 1 with 10 zeros 0.01 then obviously you need a double
so the double data type can actually store any decimal value within the eight bytes of memory so this data types that we have uh, that I have shown you there are other data types just like this but these are the most important and the fundamental ones so this data we are going to use a very we are very often going to use these data types in our programs in the later lessons but there are other ones but and when you develop your programming skills if you want to move from C programming to C++ programming you will see that these are the very basic data types we can even create our own but that's a different topic but these are the very basic and the fundamental ones the other ones let me just give you an example which is known as the short num let's call it num1 let's call it num2 so this short just like this integer this integer will uh, actually store four bytes of data this short is going to store two bytes of data this character or char uh, data type is going to store uh, one byte of data this float is going to store four byte of decimal data it can also store integers but it's actually used for decimal uh, data types or decimal values and sorry for that and this double is going to uh, we're going to use this double to uh, you know uh, store huge values which are also decimal now as you can understand this uh, data type which are being highlighted by our ID as in blue this are recognized as the grammar of C programming or C programming language so this data type goes back to the pro, uh, goes back to the um, memory through the compiler and it tells the memory that I need this amount of space so that I can store uh, I can store my data inside that space so you're essentially restricting or you're also essentially telling the memory the amount of data that you need uh, to store data for your variable with the name num1 the next thing that we are going to look at is the initialization 